Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to fix uh, some errors like uh, when we create a new folder under the SRC in uh, Angular section in Angular project so you can uh, got it uh, here we have created a new directory under the SRC folder or SRC directory like students and you want to create a new component under students and then you got that type of error like that uh, just navigate to the src first of all and uh, also navigate to the student directory so you can check rename that's first of all students and just navigate to the uh, uh, src to students then you notice that that type of error actually occurs uh, when you create a new module a new component any uh, command you have to run your uh, from your powershell like nggc list student and you got that type of error okay so uh, that's error ng the term n is not recognized oops ng okay ng uh, that's fine okay ng the file c drive users thrown app data roaming uh, engine ng1 ps1 cannot be loaded because running script is disabled running script is disabled that type of error that is the one error actually occur in the powershell and for more information see about the execution policy at that 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 and nggc students so change the execution policy first of all that type of error if you have and if you want to uh, run that same command in the command window then uh, you get a uh, got a new error like that uh, just uh, open your command window and run uh, like that uh, in the queues you can just navigate to the students directory first of all cd src and cd and the students and just uh, run the command nggc and the list student and you notice that that type of error will have uh, oops first of all asking me some question anonymous uses data about this project with the angular team at okay 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 so just click on to no that is the default action and that type of error actually occur could not find an ng module use the skip import options to skip importing in ng module so that type of error actually occurs when uh, your root folder of your uh, project is uh, under the next directory so uh, just uh, you can type again could not find uh, ng module uh, that that is error is could not find an ng module under the src and student directory so if you got the same type of error could not find an ng module use the skip import options to skip importing so uh, first of all change your root directory uh, here you can see src uh, student directory under the src section so just remove the student first of all uh, student uh, directory and create that directory under the app so because a app uh, have uh ng modules so just navigate to first of all and remove that directory delete and uh, just create a directory under the app only okay where your ng is found so student is there and just you can run your command again like that cd oops app first of all navigate to the app directory and cd students and from after that you have to run that command nggc and student uh, sorry list student and you notice that your uh, your component is created successfully under the students directory because your app is the root directory of your ng modules okay so here we go and the next thing is to uh, handle that type of error because file c drive user app this 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 and just navigate to the root directory first of all uh, students directory so just uh, remove and delete and then next to create enter the app uh, students okay 
and uh, just uh, navigate to students directory again first of all uh, navi uh, navigate to the uh, app directory cd app cd students but you got uh, that type of error again uh, in that powershell like that ng gc and list of student and you got that type of error again like ng file c drive uh, cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on the system because that's problem is the uh, problem of uh, powershell so uh, just open your powershell in the administrator mode first of all and uh, set the uh, policies uh, set the restrictions policies uh, so just right click on your window icon um, window start button and just open your powershell in the command window and in the administrator mode in the administrator mode i have to set the policies like that set execution policies to remote signed in and yes to all a okay and just run the command again in the powershell in the visual studio code okay so here we go nggc list student Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and Angular series that is currently running. Thank you very much.